into the minds of a rebel. You are now watching what? Red Red Boxing! Let's get it. Maurice Hooker will be fighting Virgil Ortiz Jr. this coming March. And usually when a fight is the same week or maybe two weeks out, I might make a prediction video. But this one, I'm going to have to get this one off my chest early. Virgil Ortiz, up and coming. Great fighter. Um... Now here's, here's the thing. I have to look and see what the uh I'll probably make another video after this. Um when I when I figure out where they're actually fighting. Are they fighting at 147? Which is more than likely. Because or catch weight is Maurice Hooker moving up from 140 to fight Virgil Ortiz he moving up to welterweight. Or they're going to fight the catch weight. I don't know. Um, but I'm just here just to talk about how the fight is going to go. <clears throat> I'm not going to get into the specifics about the weight class and things like that. Because um, I might do some more research on it. But I, I'm just doing this off the top of my dome. So, got Virgil Ortiz. Powerful kid. Um, decent to great footwork. Good out, good inside boxer. His outside game, I haven't really seen much of it. Great power. Like he has power in both hands. He's a fucking nightmare. Got Maurice Hooker. I always called him Daddy Long Arms, man. He just have the most strangest looking arms. I've, you know, very, very long arms. Good power in his right hand. Um kind of cagey how is that gonna turn out for both of these fighters well I have Virgil Ortiz stopping Maurice Hooker within four man this is this this fight not gonna go long it's not gonna go long there's nothing that Maurice Hooker could really that really has besides experience for Virgil Ortiz in my opinion there are some things that he can do that that can win him the fight, you know what I mean? If he if he is careful with it, In my opinion, he's going to use his long his reach to keep Virgil Ortiz out there. Now, does he have the power to keep him at bay? That right hand is the equalizer. If if he can catch Virgil Ortiz with something that he don't see, he probably could hurt Virgil Ortiz. But I don't think so. I don't think he can hurt him. But well, this is boxing. Anybody can get hurt. But the likelihood of that, I doubt it. Although, I will say, Virgil Ortiz's chin ain't really been tested yet. So, we will have to see. We've seen Maurice Hooker chin tested with Jose Ramirez. Now, the problem is, though, like I said, more than likely, um, Maurice Hooker's going up in weight. So, he, we facing, he's facing harder punches up there, going up towards welterweight. And I think, pretty much, if, if, if Maurice Hooker cannot keep... Virgil Ortiz often with his long with his reach. And if he can't connect and hurt him with that right, it's not gonna last long. For, he's not gonna last long in that ring with Virgil, man. Too much pressure. He was dealing, he was, I mean, when he was fighting Jose Ramirez, man, um, Maurice Hooker, he was kind of dealing with the pressure to a certain extent. But he got a little lackluster, man. And you can't do that with Virgil Ortiz. Virgil's going to pour on more, way more pressure than Jose, Mar uh, Jose Ramirez is. And he's coming with more with more harder hits. He's going to punch harder. So, man, this is... I think we're going to see a devastating knockout of Maurice Hooker in this fight. Um, shout out to him, though. Shout out to him for taking the fight. But I definitely see Maurice Hooker if he, like I said, the deciding factor to me would be if he can keep Virgil out there, popping him with the jab, sticking him with the jab, busting him up with the jab, and, you know, setting up the um, the right hand with the jab, cracking him with the right, moving, cracking him with the right, moving. I can't see anything else he can really do, man. I, I can't see it. I can't see anything else he can do. 
Burge is going to overwhelm him. And he's gonna, I think he's going to get him out of there by round four, within round four, by round four. So look for a knockout of Maurice Hooker in round four when they fight. That's my prediction. Virgil Ortiz Jr., fourth round KO. Heard it here first. Thanks for watching.